Hello guys, welcome back to the Code Algo. Today we have a very good news for 2023 pass out batch students because Infosys is going to organize their annual certification exams, which is also called the InfiTQ certification exam. Uh, why this is very good? Because through this examination, a pre final year student or a student who is in third year, he will get a job at Infosys. The registration is going to start from the 26th November 2021, and the end date of the registration is not yet declared. And the registration link Link is also in the description as well as in this blog roles and salary which you will get through this examination is uh, the first one is a system engineer or AC role is for 3.6 LPA and the digital specialist engineer role or DSE role the salary package is a uh, 5 LPA and the specialist programmer or SP role and its package is 8 LPA so uh, as we can see that there are basically three role they will hire and uh, this is a very good opportunity because you will get a job at your pre final year or the third year not even fourth year so it is a very good opportunity okay so if you talk about the eligibility criteria of this exam is uh, B, B Tech, ME, M Tech, MSc or MCA students who are graduating in 2023 can actually apply for this certification examination and students from any branch and from any college can appear uh, so it's open to all and there is no percentage criteria anyone having any percentage or any CGP can apply for this examination so now we will talk about the selection process of infi tq examination so at first you need to appear in the certification round and if you able to score 65 percent or above then you will be called as a infosys certified software programmer and you will also get a interview call for the system engineer role and uh, as well as you will eligible to appear in the advantage round and if you qualify in the advantage round then you will get an interview call for digital specialist engineer or the specialist programmer depending on your performance okay if you uh, do not qualify in the advantage round then you will be interviewed for this system engineer role in the certification round if you score 65 percent or above but you do not appear in the advantage round then automatically uh, you will get an interview call for system engineer role and if you do not score uh, 65 percent or above then you don't need to worry because another opportunity you will get that is the Infosys hack with Infi and that is another coding competition or we can say it is a, it's a coding uh, hackathon through this also you will get a job at Infosys so we will talk about hack with Infi in the coming videos okay so this was the total flowchart of the InfiTQ certification exam so now we will talk about the test pattern so there are basically two programming languages one is Java and Python and no other languages are allowed for this exam and you have to give your choice at the time of the registration and you cannot change so you have to give it very carefully and there is no negative marking for this year if you see the test pattern of the certification round basically there are uh, three sections one is the programming hands-on another one is the programming mcq and the, another one is the database management system mcq programming hands-on section there is basically two programming questions you have to solve and in, in case of the programming mcq there are basically 10 questions and in case of dbms also there are basically 10 mcq questions so in this certification round you have to score 65 percent or above you will get three hours of time for the certification round now we will talk this test pattern for the advantage round the advantage round is totally programming round there will be basically three programming hands-on questions and you will get three hours of time so before going to the syllabus i just want to say like and subscribe if you found this video informative okay now we will talk about the syllabus if you are choosing java then uh, you have to brush up your knowledge on introduction to programming object oriented basics array and string polymorphism abstract final and interfaces and the recursion so these six topics are important for the java if you are choosing uh, python then uh, you have to brush up the introduction to python algorithms control structure like if else and collections uh, functions and object oriented programming concepts through python now we'll talk about the dbms which is common for all uh, now here you have to study about introduction to dbma searching and sorting sql basics join concepts normalization subquery transactions and uh, about no sql database like mongodb so this was the syllabus for the dbms you have to register in the infi tq portal at first after the registration in that infi tq portal then you can apply for the 
इन फी टी क्यू सर्टिफिकेशन एग्जामिनेशन ओके सो दैट्स ऑल अबाउट द इन फी टी क्यू एग्जामिनेशन फॉर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री बैच स्टूडेंट्स इफ यू वॉन्ट टू रीड दिस आर्टिकल देन लिंक इज इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन एंड ऑल्सो आई हैव गिवन द रजिस्ट्रेशन लिंक फॉर द इन फी टी क्यू प्लेटफॉर्म होप यू एंजॉय दिस वीडियो एंड थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग